Hi, welcome to Kati V5 video tutorial. I want to model this part. That's a user wish. I got a picture from him which looked like this. And yeah, it's not very difficult, but maybe I can use, show you one or two things with it. So let's go back to the part. Okay, so let's have fun with Cartier V5. So we'll start with the sketch. This will be a rectangle 100 by 45 and plus 28. Okay, so let's start with the sketch. Let's do it with a positioned one on that plane. Hide is usually yellow projected elements. Then draw a rectangle and I don't want those horizontal and vertical parallelism, parallelisms so I will delete them. Now add some dimensions and a symmetry line. This would be symmetrical to that axis. Distance would be 100 and this would be 48 plus no 45 plus 28 45 plus 28 and let's align these two coincident leave that sketch make an extrude and make it six millimeters. Okay, let's take a look at our picture. So there should be a face. Okay, so this would be 28 by that six. So it's 100 divided by 250 minus six is 44. Yeah. No, that's 40, uh, 47, sorry, 47, because that is 6, so it's 28 by 47. Let's go to camphor, and that would be 28 by, not length angle, but length length, 28 by 47, right here reverse confirm and the same on the other side again a camphor that's okay i will reorder these features when i'm done so let's take a look at our picture now i want to have this one this is six and that distance would be 36. So it's a rectangle, okay. I could add those fillets, which would be 12, just for orientation. So let's do the fillets. Would be 12 on this edge and on that edge. Now I need that rectangle. Again, I will do it with a sketch on that plane. Hide as usual yellow projected elements. It's always the same procedure. Then I need a rectangle. Delete those constraints. And add some new constraints. This should be symmetrical to that axis. That dimension should be 6. And that distance should be 36 or 30. 30 should be 30. And that distance should be 
changer. This should be 30. And that should be 45 plus 28. Now let's add the block. This should be 36 in that direction. Now let's add a fillet right here, which is 30. So go for fillet, select that edge right here, and this should be radius with 30. Okay, let's take a look at our picture. So we've got this one right here. And that should not be. This should be 36 plus. Up to here it's 36 plus 6 is 42. So this should be 42. That radius is 30 and that should be 42. Okay. So let's yeah, change this one to 42. Nice. Go back to our picture. Now I want to create this one. So that's 30 up to here, 36. 36 to that edge. And this is 9 from both sides. So it's 41 in that direction, in that direction which is 82 and 6 okay let's do a sketch on again the same plane yes on that plane okay hide as usual now let's do a rectangle and delete these. This should be six. This should be symmetric to that axis distance in that direction should be 36 and from here to here it's 100 minus 18 okay and let's take a look at our picture this goes up 36, okay, and back with the 6 millimeters right here is 42. So make an extrude, that's 42 and confirm. And again, there's a camphor. That camphor would be, let's take a look again at our picture. So in that direction, it's from here, which means it's 12. That's uh, 82 altogether, so it's 41 to the center, minus 3 is 40, so that's 36, and this one is, that's 12. 41 minus 3 is 38, minus 12 is 26, it's 26 to 36. Let's take a look if it's correct. 
so there would be a camphor 26 to 36 with that edge right here reverse it this could be okay let's confirm this and the same on the other side another camphor right on that edge and again reverse it and confirm you don't have to do it with camphors of course you can do it with a sketch so what's missing right now oh, there is another camphor right here so let's take a look at our picture this would be in that direction it's okay that's um that's 36 up to here then it's six that's 42 and 6 is 48 so this should be 25 and that one 25 is 42 42 25 hopefully it's, it's okay 42 and 25 with that edge no with this edge and maybe reverse it that's not okay something's wrong let's go back maybe I do first this rectangle and it's easier for me to see that rectangle is 12 by 30 okay so that would be a sketch on that plane right here okay hide a rectangle maybe here again delete those parallel constraints these two should be symmetric to that line this is 30 and that distance is let's take a look at our picture is 12 12 and I need another distance again take a look at the picture so from here it's 36 minus 6 it's 30 so that distance would be 30 looks good okay now let's make an extrude with that sketch right here and that distance should be six more so it's 48 and go for more and make this minus 42 and confirm looks pretty good now what I need is that camphor let's check if I can get the right dimensions and C 
see if that's okay with our picture. So this should go up to that. So this has to be six more. Go to that pad. That's 48. Okay. And now I need the correct dimensions here. So go back to our picture. So that's six. And that distance is 36 plus 6, it's 42 up to this one from that one. So it's, yeah, it's 42. And that distance is. The complete length minus 36 minus 6 minus 6. So it's 48. Yeah. The complete length minus 48. That would be a camphor. Complete length is 25. No, it's 28. Plus 45. Minus 48. And the other one is 42. 42. Let's see if this works. That would be that edge. And reverse it. This looks good and confirm. This looks pretty good. Okay, then there are two holes, and the two holes are diameters 12, and the distance from the middle or from there is 22 from here, which means it's. Uh, 50 minus 22, it's 28 from here over there, and 18 from there. 18 and 28, okay. So let's go for a hole. Make this hole right on that plane or face, doesn't matter. Diameter is 12. And it's up to next, and the positioning sketch. <laughs> always turns around. So that point right here, just move it over here because sometimes it snaps right there and you can't move it. So that distance would be 18. And that distance would be 28. You should hide those yellow projected elements. These should be hidden. Okay, go back. Now oh, that's a hole. Make sure it goes in the correct dimensions or reverse it. Direction, sorry. Confirm. And now I could pattern it or mirror it, whatever you want. I will do a mirror in this case, so go for mirror. I want to mirror that hole. And the mirroring that hole. Sorry, the mirroring element is this one. And the feature is the hole. Okay, and I'm almost done. Now I will reorder those features because this should be in a different sequence. So put that pad or that camphor, 
by camphor 4 object, reorder and reorder it after that pad 4. Okay. Camphor 3 should be reordered as well. After pad 4. That edge fillet should be reordered as well after pad 4. That edge fillet should be reordered as well again after pad 4. And those two as well. So go for camphor 2 object, reorder after pad 4. Okay. And this one as well. Reorder after pad 4 as well. Now you could take a look with edit, scan or defining work object, and you could move step by step through your tree. So I could do it like this. First make all the pads then add the campers, the fillets maybe after the campers. So let's move these fillets down below. So this should be stop this and reorder this as well after the camphor 5 and the other edge fillet as well reorder after camphor 5. So that would be the preferred sequence. First the pads, then the camphers, then the fillets, and at last the holes. Just make this the work object and I'm done. So hope it's helpful. If you liked it, give it a like please, or leave a nice comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page, that would be very nice of you. Thanks for watching, see you to the next one, bye bye.